The best part of blended learning is the fact that you are putting most of the learning um, in the hands of the child. Blended learning is when you're doing more than one type of work. It's like some kids might be at a table with a teacher, some kids might be doing the Surface Pros or computers, and some kids might be doing work by themselves or their independent work. Blended learning is fun because you, can, because you get to decide what you're doing in technology and stuff like that. Blended learning is technology with like paper and pencil just blended in like a Surface Pro or a computer, tablet. Fractions, what about fractions? Just the structure of my classroom has changed dramatically uh, since the beginning of the year where I was teaching the whole group for 45 minutes and kind of loosened some kids throughout that time. It's quick, it's fast, and so they're not spending one, there's not spending a lot of time on one thing and getting bored and getting distracted. And the biggest thing for me was just sort of taking, you know, those first couple weeks that we had, looking around and seeing students and, and how engaged they are with every project that they're doing. But when you're doing blended learning, you're, you're doing everything. Like the teacher wouldn't just stay up there for like an hour talking about something. But when you do blended learning, Mr. Org teaches you a lesson. He tries to make it as quick as possible so then we can do other things instead of just staying there forever. And I tell them what the reason is. I state the goal. And it's really made a difference of them knowing what we're doing. It's not going to last an hour, but this skill is important. Then they get to go practice it or work with a partner. Tell me about this one. I can differentiate for, for everyone. Um, I can have um, one student over here who's still struggling with basic facts, working on that, and she or he doesn't look any different than the kid over here who I'm trying to ex extend into fifth grade standards, and, it does, and they don't look any different. So we're not limited just to fourth grade. I have some kids that are doing fifth, sixth grade math where in the past they would just be sitting, bored, maybe even, you know, um, becoming problematic because they, they already understand those concepts. So now I can kind of give, give them some of those things that they can really grasp onto and, and uh, accelerate. Giving students choice, giving them that flexibility, making them direct their own path. I like that you don't have to do exactly what you're told and you can, you know, make your own choices of what you do. It's cool that you're kind of on your own a little bit and it kind of gives you more choices, more like free time, and you're not being guided step by step like you were in kindergarten. It's probably time management. You're really um, sort of having students at a younger age realize that they need to accomplish a certain amount of things and they have a certain amount of time to do it, but it's not the teacher's job then to say, okay, you know, sort of those center-like um, activities that we used to do in the past. It has prepared me by giving me more freedom and sort of gives me like this thing where I know I have to get this done and I can't spend all the time on Surface Pro and I can't spend all the time on independent work and I can't spend all the time with the teacher. So I have to kind of spend my time well, I guess. And, and there's stuff that you have to accomplish and then you can do whatever you want in any order. And we worked from August till January on how to pick your own seat, where to, you're going to work best, how to work with others. Um, it took time. Uh, this didn't happen all in a month. Um, but now that once we got to January, February, kids started wanting to participate in it. They started picking different seats, sitting by themselves, working with different people that I didn't see them working with at the beginning of the year. Maybe you can work with friends or something and sit by them and work. He lets us talk to his friends when it's math because we work together. It creates that great classroom environment that uh, I always kind of wanted to have and now I feel like I'm working towards it. I think it just makes it more fun for the kids and for the, for the teacher. It's just a more enjoyable experience. Time goes so fast. The kids are way more engaged.